So the war within is over, right? And with that comes the existential dread of like just, oh god, what do I do now? What do I do now? Uh, obviously there is more main quest. If, if you if you look at this. Um, there are still like a bunch of main quest missions left. Um, Hidden messages, Mask of the Revenant, all of these are like things you get Warframe stuff with. But, you know, as far as actually just main questy stuff, right? Um, you'd want to do uh, the Chains of Harrow and the Sacrifice. The Sacrifice is the next big thing. And all of these other things are kind of just uh, side quests. Sacrifice is huge, big main quest. To do it, you need to have done the apostasy prologue. And then you're like, all right, I'll just look in my quest log to find out apostasy prologue and see. And it's like, oh shit, it's not there. There is no quest called apostasy prologue. Uh, how do I, how do I do that? How do I advance in the main quest? And the answer, folks, is here. The answer is. You build your personal quarter segment. That's it. That's what you do. And then you enter your personal quarter segment. And that's how you sort of kick that quest into gear. Now, I'm going to, you know, build that. It's going to take 12 hours. So we're not going to do that in this session. Also takes a bit of credits, a bit of argon. That's fine. I have everything else. Um, so we're going to do some other things in the meantime. We're going to do some side questing now. And I'm going to show you some other cool things. Also, folks... I don't know if you've heard about this. They released a new Warframe two weeks ago, right? This guy. The Gauss. Yeah, I, I made a video on how to get him. I made a video on how to get his uh, signature weapons. All of that stuff. Um, he's super cool. But more importantly, his signature weapons are fucking badass. They are amazing. Uh, I've already been playing with, uh, with them on my main account. And I love them so much that I had to go and grind out that blueprint on this account as well. Bam, the Exceltra. Holy shit, this weapon. Oh my god, we're building it. Um, it is the best. I am an Exceltra main now. I have sworn by the heck my entire time playing Warframe. I'm going to show off a different weapon in this session. I'm going to have use the Fulmin. I don't have... Uh, a Norokin Catalyst in it. So I only have 30 mod slots. So, you know, as you can see, I can't mod it all that much. That's fine. It's got innate electricity damage, which means that all you need to do is put in, like, one toxin mod and you get that juicy, juicy corrosive that eats through armor. We love that. Other than that, I'll just, I just put some multi-shot in it, some base damage buff, and, you know, I kicked up the crit chance a little bit because it already has a very high crit chance at, like, 30%. If I had the, like more mod space in this, I would have obviously liked to just bump this up to the maximum. You want to get this up to like 80% crit chance or something, and then you increase crit damage as well, and then you do all the damage. But this should be fine. This should be fine for now for what we want to do with it. Not as strong as the heck because the heck has a broken catalyst, but it's fine. No, but I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do some other cool stuff. Uh, oh, look, the Void Trader is coming back soon, and Barrow is coming back. Now, I'm going to show you how to activate all of these cool um, side quests. And what you have to do, folks, is you have to go to the relays, and you have to talk to them, uh, them syndicates. I don't know if you've been doing that. Have you been doing your syndicate missions? Have you been ranking up with some syndicates, ranking down with some syndicates? Huh? I don't know, have you? Have you? you should be. should be, because that's a big grind. It's a big grind to get all of them stuffs. Which means you gotta start early. You gotta start early and do it every day. It's like that scene in Bojack. About the guy outside his house. Like, jogging up the hill every day. Talking about getting in shape. Just tells you. It, um... Uh, it gets easier, it gets easier over time, but you gotta do it every day. That's the hard part, but it does get easier. Anyway, 
So, they can obviously expand on this in the future. Uh, not all uh, syndicates have their own sort of allocated quests yet. We can check out these guys. See this? We're, we're, hey, are you gonna help these people out? I am, Cressa. I am. Uh, she does not have anything else to talk about. So, like, she does not have any sort of dedicated quest. Steel Meridian does not. But that's fine. They pop up in some other stuff. Hi, Cephalon Suda. Do not waste your time with this idiot Cephalon. Spewing corrupt data streams about music of all things. The epitome of meaningless data. Music, she eh? to be disconnected from the weave and erased. <laughs> And uh, this is how you get the Octavia Warframe, the music Warframe. And oh my god, Octavia is amazing. Like, I I love Octavia. She's so underestimated. So here is how you start this quest. Curious about music, as I am. Ignore the rants of that monster, Ermis, who perverts his function with destruction. Ermis? Samaris is to whom I refer. I am busy with my data collection. She called him Ermis. Was that what was that his old name? Was that what he was called when he was a human, or whatever he was back when? Yes, I know. I am a cephalon, a creature of data and memory. You need not repeat yourself. If you are truly curious about my musical archives, prove it. Build the Mandacord. Ooh, I will. Uh, yes. Amanda Cord? Hunter, will you strike your enemies with sonnets and hymns? Yes, I will. Sudom wastes your talent. Her precepts are corrupt. She ought to be decommissioned immediately. I know you think so. I know you think so. I don't think Arbiters of Hexes has any allocated quests. Uh, no, they do not. Okay. So, talking to them is pointless for now. It accomplishes nothing. Only speak to them for their rewards. Here's Nuloka. Nuloka are hippies. They're all about like restoration of the earth and stuff. We're gonna talk to them last because I think that's actually the quest we're gonna do. Um, here is the parent sequence. They have one. Hi, Ergo. Ergo Glast. The Glast Gambit. There we go. That sounds dangerous. dangerous trade. And we Perrin have always given them fair value for their goods. But I've received disturbing news. That cleric of greed, Nef Anyo, has raided their colony, making off with more than just the resources they depend on. It seems he took well here. Look at this. The dark eyed man smashed our colony gates and kidnapped us. Locked us in here. But I don't care. It's mom and dad I'm worried about. Without the gates, the mumblers will be coming. They'll get sick, they'll start to mumble too. That can't happen. Papa says I'm blessed, so maybe I should pray? I'll pray for the Tino to come. I'll pray for the Tino to save my family. She was taken along with several more Maconian children. Those who remain are under siege from the infestation. Before we can rescue Niwa and the other captives, we must first restore the Myconians' defenses. Our financial strength is useless against the Mindless Horde. We need Tenno Muscle. Will you help Niwa's people? I will. Because it gives me a new Warframe. Such generosity. I knew the Myconians could rely on you, Tenno. There you go. There's another one. So that's actually a colony who are crazy enough to live on an infested ship. They just shelter themselves and like huddle up in some small part of the ship that's not infested. And here's the Red Veil. I don't think they have one either. 
No. You've become part of the problem. Ah, oh, they don't like me. But they have another one, the, the Chains of Harrow, uh, which is sort of main questy. Uh, that that one's related to the Red Veil, and there's other main questy stuff that's related to the uh, uh, the Steel Meridian as well. Uh, let's see, where was New Loka? Here, this is the one we're actually gonna do right now. Hippies, purists, Earth restorationists, yay nature, down with technology. That's what they're all about. Do you know of the Silver Grove, Earth's oldest and most pure forest? No. It is home to our most sacred shrine. Fascinating. Tell me more. We learned that the Grenier, those twisted abominations, are planning to build a factory. Boo! Factories. That's capitalism. Intent on turning our blessed Silver Grove to ash. Yeah, but Earth's fucked anyway. Generations ago, we recovered an apothic recipe at the shrine. We believe it will reawaken the forest's legendary defenses. Gather the ingredients and deliver the apothic to the heart of the shrine. You are the only hope for the Silver Grove and the natural purity it represents. But you guys, you guys are trying to kill me, right? You're always trying to kill me. Anyway, we will accept this quest. Boom. How about that? Now, there's only one sort of, like, uh, additional unlockable side quest that I technically could unlock right now, but I haven't. And that is the Sands of Inaros. The reason why is because that is a quest that you buy from Barrow Kitir, the Void Trader. He's gonna show up here next. And he needs a special currency called Ducats. You trade in your... you, you do your uh, relic farming, right? You farm your relics to get prime parts for prime weapons and prime warframes. And you can sell stuff, prime parts that you don't need, in these uh, ducat kiosks right here. See? And you get, get like some, some ducats for that. And you use those. When Barrow shows up, Barrow, Barrow shows up like once every two weeks. And then you buy that side quest from him. And Sands of Noros is also a cool side quest. And Inaros is a cool Warframe, so that is obviously something we're gonna be doing. But he's not here right now, so we can't do it right now. But that's okay. We're gonna keep busy. We have a lot of stuff to do now. We are gonna keep ourselves busy. But for now... Ah, which one's our ship? Eh, is it over here maybe? For now... Uh... We will do some other cool side questy things. Yay, side quests. Ah, I thought I was gonna be like sort of thematically cool and stuff and just hop into the orbiter. Actually, this is not the orbiter, this is just our um, um, landing craft. It's, there's, it's up for debate what is the orbiter. It, like, some people think that the landing craft is the orbiter. Uh, I don't think so, because you, you can change the landing craft for other landing crafts. There's been, like, concept art of the orbiter being actually huge. Like, really, really big. And the orbiter is just something you dock into it. And I think, like, if you're... If we leave the relay... Maybe... Like, because now we're kind of at the relay. We're docked at the relay. So, if I leave it now and look out here. No, I'm still just outside of Jupiter. I think there's some place you can hang out and you can, like, look out the cockpit here and you can kind of sort of see what could be an orbiter. Who knows? Anyway. Look at this. Now we have all of these options here. Ooh. Um... Patient Zero and the Jordan's Precept, they require you to have done the Eris Junction. I haven't done that yet. Um, but we're doing the Silver Grove. Yeah. Begin. All right, we already had that set as the active quest. So you pick it here. Okay. Now what? Now what? Oh, right. I got... Uh, bleh, I'm dumb. There you go. 
I got the Apothic. Yes, I am so ready. I understand that. Yeah, find the plants. So we got a blueprint here for an Apothic. Find the goddamn plants. Hey, remember when I told you, get the Helios as quick as you can. Because it scans stuff for you. Remember when I told you before when we've been running missions and I've just been running by these random plants and I've just been scanning them and you didn't know why I did it? And I was like, don't worry, one day in the future it'll all make sense why I'm doing this. So yeah, that was the so-called apothics. Ooh, Mandacordo, oh, that's so cool. So we will skip to, is it like a key? No, no, it's a ge gear. There we go. Oh, a cypher. So as you can see, I've been hunting, 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 hunting. For this one, I got the Dusklight Saracenias. I got the Moonlight Dragon Lilies. I've been scanning all the things. Do not have enough Sunlight Thresh Cones. That's bullshit. So, here's the thing. You get those on Earth. It depends on if it's night or day. What is it? It's night. Crap. That might mean I can't actually get sunlight cones right now. It means I might actually only be able to find moonlight cones. Because sunlight cones only spawn at day. And it's 30 minutes until it's daytime. That's a good quest, people. That is a well-designed quest. God. Uh, oh, God. Please don't tell me I picked... Did I pick a mission that's not even outside... Oh, I'm I'm such a goof. You know what? You know what, King Crimson? I summon thee, and when we get back, uh, we're gonna be right on top of this. No more goofiness from us, people. We are we are running a tight, tight professional outfit here. Did I mention it's tight? It's very tight. I'm Swedish. Everything we do is tight. Our jeans are tight. Our music is tight. Our outfits are tight. Both in terms of fashion and in terms of skill. My bags are packed. I'm all set to leave. I can't believe I'll be working with one of my childhood heroes, Archimedean Margulis. On comms, she said she needed the best infestation biologist there was. I think my knees almost gave out. As I log this, I'm looking out the stained plastic of my field tent into the dead, yellow sky of Earth. I smell the vague sulfur and toxins leaking through the seals. Yet, somehow, I'm gonna miss this place. Leaving here feels like I'm giving up on my dream. My dream to see green and blue return to the sick and dying mother of us all. But I'm frustrated with my lack of progress. I've tried everything to accelerate the ailing vegetation, to guide and nurture the soil, but nothing comes of it. I need a change. Now I have that opportunity. And thanks to Margulis, I'm relieved I won't be drafted into some Orican war project. The dusk light Saracenia grows best in absolute filth. I mean... 100% pollution, poisonous air, and water. Really, what kind of plant thrives in those conditions? Lovely name, though. Hehe. <laughs> so, I don't know why that thing popped up right now. Um, that piece of audio wasn't supposed to pop up until, like, I think, until I make the apothic. But it just did. Um... And I don't know how to bring it back, but it's it's fine. It's just like an audio log. It's just that it's supposed to show like the actual grove uh, when it's read out. Um, you should be able to go back and like listen to them again. So I'll, I'll see if I can find out how to do that. Other if, if I can't, and I'm going to leave this in. And uh, that's just going to be... Uh, how you got to experience it.